It's been a while since I have checked for updates on this Windows 10 machine, so let's go ahead and do that now. I'm going to click on Start, go up to the Settings icon, and we're going to choose the last group here, Update and Security. We can see I have a whole list of updates here. I have my warning, your device is missing important security and quality fixes. All right. Uh, I guess we also have an error here. We can't install some updates because, because other updates are in progress. Restarting your computer may help and we'll keep trying to update. So let's see. All right, I don't see anything uh, currently running in terms of an active update. So I'm gonna hit the download button. And we can see that immediately several of the updates start downloading. This one's at 100%, that one is now pending install, getting things ready. So this is the area that you want to go into uh, when you're checking for updates. You do need to do it manually, periodically, right? They're not all updates come through automatically and sometimes they get stuck and uh, you need to either restart your machine as this update up here is suggesting or uh, you know, you have to click the download button the way I did there and in addition to all of that, we have right here an optional updates available area. And this is a, a preview for Windows 10 version 1909, right? And if I, wish to uh, if I wish to install that, I can click on download install. But if you don't want to be a guinea pig per se and take in an early update, if you'd rather uh, other people go through the pain and 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 growth pains of a Windows update and get it when it's more of an official update instead of a preview you can just ignore that download and install button but otherwise uh, you know wait until you see the prompt to restart your machine right um, I do see there's some activity here so I'm going to uh, wait a little bit longer uh, until either I see it prompt me specifically uh, with a button up here that says restart now to restart the machine, or if they all get stuck on pending install and I still have this status warning here, then I will restart the machine as this suggest uh, may help. Here we have one that's completed downloading and is now installing. So uh, it was good I waited. I'll let some more activity go on. I'll pause recording and we'll see how far along it gets and uh, at what other interesting point I can continue on there. Now this area has, you know, it went to 100% installing and then it started back over at, uh, you know, 0, 1%, 1%, 2% and up. Uh, that happens uh, often enough, often actually with these cumulative updates. So you'll, you'll think you're right at the end and then it will start over. And um, generally it's not an infinite loop, but you may have to let it run through a few times. So that's why it's nice to wait till it has the uh, restart now uh, button uh, to, to let you know that it's really ready uh, to reboot and finalize those updates. Now we have another update at the bottom here installing. So now the uh, updates have completed this far and we have our restart now button. So I could schedule the restart if now it's not a good time and I want it to go ahead at 2 a.m. or something, but let's go ahead and click restart now. Of course, this can take a while. It seems to be going pretty fast here, but uh, speed may vary on different systems and with different updates. Now the system's booting back up. And 
this bit here is part of the new Edge browser update. Welcome to the new Microsoft Edge. If you click on Get Started, you can uncheck things like that and just close off this window, close off Edge. You'll have a new Edge icon down here. If you don't use it, I tend to use Firefox and Chrome. You can right click and unpin it from the taskbar. And you may find that when you pop into another browser, uh, Edge wants to ask questions, but uh, that didn't happen here. That's good. Okay, so let's check again for our update status. Click on Start, go to Settings, back into Update and Security. Now we have still that optional update that we're going to ignore for now. And of course you can check for updates again. It's always a good idea after running one set of updates to check for updates on updates as it were, and just see if there's anything important. And here we have some more bits and pieces, so it's good that we did so. So one of the updates wants another restart. I'll go ahead and do that now. I won't bore you with the details of that happening. Just know to slip back in to Windows Update. Check once again for anything new. Uh, when you fail to get anything new, you know you're fine and you're as updated as you need to be.